What's up, Batman fans? I'm Tim, and today I'm reviewing Batman issue number 25, and today we just got left off with the Riddler completely blacking out the entire Gotham City, but they kind of left off with that and moved on to more of a detective comic. And basically, a few of the Wayne Enterprises scientists' bones are completely branching out of their body, and it is disgusting. And I mean, they're like a tree, and it's pretty insane. But anyway, Bruce Wayne... You now figures what's going on and he actually checks the crime scene and then once Commissioner Gordon and Bullock actually check the crime scene they're like wait did Batman cause this and thing one thing that I found interesting is Commissioner Gordon sort of is like wait Batman wouldn't have done this but Bullock's like nah he did it so you know that was kind of like okay Bullock isn't really on the side of the Batman but you know Gordon's like you know maybe he didn't do this maybe he was just checking the crime scene and obviously Gordon is right, and that's when Commissioner Gordon goes to check Bruce Wayne because they find out that these are the Wayne Enterprises scientists. And Bruce Wayne just left the Batcave at that moment, and he was very surprised to see Commissioner Gordon standing right over the tunnel leading right to the Batcave. So, you know, Batman or Bruce Wayne had to kind of figure out a way to be like, oh, um, I was down here because there are bats. And he presses a button, blasts fly out on his face. Pretty interesting, you know, Bruce Wayne being the smartass he is, just like, oh, yeah, I was uh, doing that. So anyway, the comic goes on where we get to see that Batman, or Bruce Wayne, goes to check out Lucius Fox. And, you know, this is the first time seeing Lucius Fox in the Zero Year storyline, and he pretty much looks the same, you know, pretty handsome. Oh, I'm not gay or anything. Um, anyway, the main villain in this comic is actually Dr. Death, who is the scientist who created this bone serum. And um, Lucius Fox is actually working for Dr. Death and stabs Bruce Wayne, you know, in the neck with a little needle so he passes out. And it's pretty interesting, you know, like Lucius Fox is usually a good guy, but in Zero Year, he's apparently working for Dr. Death. So if you don't know who Dr. Death is, he's basically a very old comic book character, one of the very first, you know, villains ever. And his face is completely deformed, his eyes popping out of his skull, and his teeth are huge, his fingers are like at least a foot long and the reason he's so deformed is because of the bone serum he created and I thought that was pretty interesting like you know he put this serum to himself and he looks like this and he's still testing it on other people so basically that's the end of the comic I give it an 8 out of 10 two things I want to go over is one scene I really loved was in the in a tunnel where we got to see one of the very first versions of the Bat Batmobile and may I say it is awesome I'm okay it's basically all blue and gold and there's basically a bat as like you know the front thing I guess like the little design you want to put on the front and I bit a lot better than the greedy ones like the little gritty ones we get to see a lot where it's just like all black I mean I'd rather see this in a movie than the black one but anyway this can basically travel up on any side of the wall and all the cops are pretty much like ah oh, shit we can't really do anything so I thought that was pretty interesting and I really loved that you can see a picture of the Batmobile right now so besides that, one thing I like is they're really branching out. Like at first it was like, okay, we're focusing on Red Hood and then the Riddler, and now they got Doctor Death in here, and I like that whole fact. Like I don't know who Doctor Death is, but so far he seems pretty damn interesting. And the last thing I want to say is, in the beginning of the comic and the end of the comic, we see basically this army tank coming by, and they're checking out a tunnel in the ground, and basically we're left off with a name called Tokyo Moon. Now, who do I know? I don't know anything about Tokyo Moon. I did not look this person up. I don't know if it's a comic book character. If it is, please correct me in the comment section down below. But anyway, something is going on there, too. And I thought that was pretty interesting because we're left off with, you know, a little bit of a cliffhanger and the fact that, well, Dr. Death is officially in Zero Year. So, once again, thank you for watching. Don't want to comment, like, subscribe down below. And I hope you hear your review on Batman Issue 25. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.